Hello everyone, Shela here and welcome back to my channel and today I want to do a tutorial of this card um, this is for a friend and um, yeah um, I will call this card a photo frame card it's like um, you know photo then um, stands like that so this is what it looks like on the side so you can fold this one like that for um, posting it will um, fold flat and then whoever will receive it just pull it down and then it will stand like that and then at the back here I just um, stamp it already uncolored okay so um, yeah I did a couple of this one I don't have a picture I sent it away already um, um, it's nicer when you have a um, chipboard but this one is on it's only um, um, cardstock this white cardstock here um, this one is a 300 GSM cardstock so it will be very sturdy but you can you know layer them if you don't have the 300 GSM cardstock um, yeah, so I hope you will enjoy the tutorial. So this is the close-up. I love the stamp. So the stamps, um, yeah, the stamp that I used is by Pink Ink Designs. Um, the last video I did, I showed you a um, couple of the stamps that I got. I got three of their new stamps released and um, yeah so I managed to um, did a project on the two cans so cute there were two of them I will show you um, so here is my storage for my pink ink design stamps I collected a lot of them already so yeah so this is just an ordinary binder and yeah so I just put it into this um, plastic um, I'm not sure what is this one but yeah so first one is the um, the packaging so I just put the first one on the packaging first and then there's the stamp because I don't want to put them together because they get dirty so I want to separate the um, the packaging and um, you know it's good for reference okay and yeah so I had quite of them so um, I'm not sure how many <laughs> I got already something like 13 or 14 something like that um yeah so the one I used I haven't this is my next project I want to try that I I did all the uh, bunnies already so I just want to do a quick flip here so there is the one this is the one I'll be using today for this project so as you can see there's two I, I hope you can I'll show you later so there's two two can here actually there's three there's a small one and yeah so there's the flamingo so I haven't um, made a project so I'll be doing that um, I did this one already but yeah it's in the Facebook I posted in Facebook just once so I have to do more of this one so this is the mythical series the one here is the wing series and that's the um, fauna series the one with the bunny and um, this is the nautical series um, I, uh, I collected almost <laughs> every nautical series they released um, yeah, I only miss 
the shells I still want to get that and the seahorse yes so that's my favorite the one of my favorite the sea turtle I made a lot of um, um, cards of this one already then oh she is my favorite I just love her I made a lot of cards of her too and there's the sea names I made one of this one there's two in this um stamp you can see there's still I haven't done this one I did that one and there's the um, um Neptune I did one project for this one this is perfect for um, Father's Day that is coming I love her now I lost the stamp <laughs> I put it somewhere. I was using it. The um, mermaid. And there's the whale. I haven't done this one. It's a big one here. And I did this one. And the last one is this one. So, yeah, I still have to um, do a project. So, I'm just... Um, a lot of my video is about painting design. They are just my obsession at the moment. So I'm just trying all the stamps that I got here. Um, yeah, so I hope you <laughs> will get them. Um, they are um, they are very very nice stamps. I love I love um, the way they look, and they are very um, ins. You know you will be inspired to color them something like that so yeah and I can't wait to um, make a project of this one it's a huge tom but for today so we will be doing uh, where's, uh, wing this one the two can this one here so just take that one out so this is how I store my stamps um, especially the pink ink and I just put them like that and let it you know stand like that so it's easier and I also I did a lot of um, I have another one here. This is a um, from magazines stamps that I've been collecting too. So my big, my, the big stamps, I, you know those A4 stamps that is free in magazines. I just stored it like that. So yeah. So if you're thinking of storing, you can store it like that. Okay, um, yeah, so, so for today we will be um, making this card, um, and making this card, and this one is the Toucan, this is Wings Series by Pink Ink Designs, and that is the product code if you're looking for it. I just love it so pretty so um yeah so this is the stamp there's two so um yeah i guess i'll be using this one maybe maybe i'll try this one here so that i will have another because I haven't done this one so but the whole layout and the whole concept will be the same so I'll be stamping this one because I did that one already okay so I'll be back so first thing first is I want to show you the dies I used um, 
I'm using the Creative Expression by Sue Wilson Dyes and this is from the Noble Collection so this is the Lavish Accented Octagon I just love this one um, actually there's two of them and this is the other one um, but I'm using this one this is um, this one this one here is slightly bigger than this one but just slightly but they're almost eight by eight inches so yeah and um, I I will be using the first second and the third largest dies in this um, collection okay so yeah so first thing first I want to um, just use this and die cut the smallest um, the smallest um, octagon in here from this tree okay so I will be back with it so here it is and um, cut out that and then there's a piece here so I want to stamp the um, the stamp here from the two con so cute I'll just stamp this one first and then you need um, this leaf I hope I see I need um, I need seven of them so I just want to stamp that so I'm using here um, memento tuxedo black because I'm going to use my Copics or any alcohol marker you have So here it is. I fussy cut him and I'm not worried about the white stuff here. I'm going to color it with the um the paint that I'm going to use for the background. So yeah. 
So, the one that I cut earlier, and he will be on the middle. Um, yeah, so I'm going to color this one with Dilutions paint, and I just love these paints. I, they are very vibrant. I love this one on the um, art journals. So, um, I have this one for a while, haven't used it. So, I want to use it um, this time. So, I'll be using the turquoise. And that's the color there. I love it. It's a nice shade of um, blue. And I'm also going to use the pure sunshine. And um, what was the other one? I'm going to use a little bit of. Um, brown this is the ground coffee okay and I guess um yeah I'm going to add some yellow this one the lemon cyst and I guess this is the um the very pale yellow I mean the yeah it's very nice yellow and I guess that's the one I will use in today. Um, you just coordinate with each other. Like so. Yeah. so um, so I'll fast forward this, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So here is um, the crush, crushed grape. Um, I want to use this one as an ink to stamp this from, this is from a magazine. This is, um, I guess this is free from a magazine before. Um, I guess the card making magazine. Or something like that so I'm just using the um, the blender tool here I'm just adding um, some ink to this and I want to add that there it's so pretty so this is not from the pink ink design I just have to add this one because I just want something um, something like berries on it.
so we'll just put this one aside and um, I want to color the leaves first this one here that I stamped earlier and to color this one if you have um, dilutions paint um, I'm just um, getting um, I'm just going to use dark green and there is a kind of pale green here um, yeah or and then there's the yellow so this one is cut grass dirty martini and um, the lemon zest um, the dark green here is this is the dirty martini uh, you just just very simple there's nothing much nothing special you just put it in the middle the darker green just like that oops that's too much and like that okay oops and then there's the um, cut grass just some into the kind of outside here like that just circle like that and then yeah it's just very simple coloring then on the outside you just um, add the yellow like that blend it a little bit like that so that's a simple one and then you fussy cut that and then then I'll just put them aside and then I went ahead and fussy cut them so you will end up with this one okay so I cut out um, I colored seven of them they are and um, after you fussy cut them, you just take some yellow and just add that one on the side, on the edge, I mean, like that. Just kind of highlight the leaf. Okay, so as you can see here, even though it just look like that when you fussy cut it, it will just look like this so just uh, simple coloring so nothing fancy now um, so that's the uh, leaves now for the just put my paint on the side there just like this now um, So, um, the guy, so I went ahead and cut out, so I used the three dies that I you, I showed you earlier, so there it is, there's the largest one, and there's the um, smaller one, then, um, what I did is that um, I cut out a white one of this. There it is. It's white. And then I painted it with um, this turquoise um, paint. So then it will look like that. Because I want to have this kind of color. So, yeah. And then... The easiest way to, um, I want to have a yellow background on this one, so um, for the easiest way to do it is that you cut out this, um, the smallest one in the center, okay, like that, and when you cut it out then it will 
um, have a window like that rather than if you have you cut out that to have a background on that one sometimes it moves so it's better like that you just have to measure you just have to lay that die there um, just to make sure that it has enough space when you cut it out later like that I hope you know what I mean so you just lay that one down okay and then just make sure that it has enough um, space all of this tree then just remove the two and then you'll be left with this one and then you run it through and then you will have this um, hole here and then I want then I will just adhere that like that and then I'll trim it around and that's the quickest way to do it Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. So um I forgot. So before I before I um supposed to be or I adhere this one onto the um onto the the white paper. I was going to emboss this one but um, but I can still do it I just cover that okay and um, I need um, so I'm using the Versamark um, for embossing this and I'm I'm using the this um, this is by Paper Mania and this is um, Enchanted Gold. Okay.
So to make the the back of the card, I have here I cut out two um, of the largest die that I used, and um, on the on one of them you have to score on the middle. Okay, so there's the score line there. Okay, and you know just fold it in half like that. So then, um, before I do that, I want to color this one. So there it is, um, painted it already. So I want to adhere that there. This side. And then so I have here a piece of cardstock and this is the, the one that I'm going to adhere for the stand of the card okay so um, the size of this one will depends on you since um, it depends on how big is your card and um, what shape is your card since I'm using this octagon and this is an 8x8 um, octagon so I um, first thing you have to do is you measure your um, that side where it stand so since this is an octagon I measure this side here one of the side so this one here so I'll just um, measure that and so that's the length of it and then um, for the um, I mean the width of this um, octagon so for the length uh, um, that one will depends on you so for my for my um, card here I this one is um, three and a half okay so I have um, half an inch I scored half an inch here and half an inch on the side this is the one that I will be adhering on the card and this is the um, then you just fold that in half so um, the best thing you can do is just you just measure your desired length and make sure you have um, half an inch here and half an inch on the other side and then when you fold that it will be like that and you just fold it in half and that's it so yeah so as so that it will look like that Okay, so it's not um, very fancy, but I want to color this one so that it will blend to the card. So what I did here, so I just fold it like that, okay, as you can see, that's my half an inch here and half an inch here. I hope you then you just fold it like that and then you'll just line it there okay so they fold this one here facing you and then you just line that like that make sure it's lined properly 
and then you just fold that like that now so there it is okay so the card will stand like that And we'll, later on, when the the um, the glitter will um, dry, I'll hear that one later. But on the meantime, I want to finish this one, so I want to decorate it. So there it is, and you can add your sentiments here. Big space for your sentiments, and yeah. So that's um, then I will adhere this one, I will adhere this piece here. There's the other one on a different color. Oh, they're just so cute. So I hope you enjoy the um, my project today. And I hope you will try it. Um, this one is really per perfect for if you're making something like, you know, you do mixed media um, on the front here. Or then, you know and um the best one will be um a chipboard you cut out the chipboard um the die w the die will cut but not totally cut the chipboard but you can um you know cut the rest with the scissor i i did it and it was it was good and um yeah because it's a very thin die you know so it, it won't really cut through um chipboard but I I did cut with the scissors and the rest of it so at least there is just a line on it um, yeah so it would be nice if you do um, something like this so instead of a card here you do um, a chipboard or a cardboard and then you do a mixed media and then you you do the back like this and stand like that for a gift so that will be perfect yeah so um, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope, um, you know, I give you inspiration today. And so that's my project today and um, yeah, so what do you think and I hope you like it and um, I will see you again next time. Happy crafting everyone and bye for now.